what's up guys galaxy king here in today's video i've got my updated cypher deck profile really happy with the new support that cypher's got it makes it well in short it just makes it playable because before it just wasn't playable like what like whatsoever and i love galaxy eyes i love photons i love cyphers as well because they sort of fit into that whole mixed archetype thing with galaxy eyes sort of like um fluffles where fluffles have well fluffles edge imps and fright furs galaxy eyes have galaxy photon and ciphers since a lot of cipher cards do help galaxy eyes cards so it's annoying for me to say that ciphers aren't that good but with the new support it does make it a lot more playable and I'll be honest, I spent an embarrassingly long time on this deck trying to make it as good as I possibly could when, embarrassingly, it was just staring me right in the face with how to make this deck a lot more consistent. Because that's one of the biggest problems that this deck has was its consistency. It can play fairly well, but the consistency was just non-existent. But I found a tech that really helps the deck a lot. It's not perfect, I'll admit that. But this is probably as good as Cyphers are going to get. So, let's get on with the deck profile. So starting with the monsters and starting with the newest Cypher monster is Triple Cypher Biplane. This card fixes a lot of the problems that the deck had, specifically it what monsters you would rather summon with um, Wing, and also it helps put more monsters on the field. Its effect is if you normal or special summon a Cypher monster, you can special summon it from your hand. And then you can target two Cypher monsters on the field, including itself, and they become level 8. And also this card has a really fun um, resource effect where if it's destroyed by battle or card effect you can banish it from the graveyard to add a cypher monster from your deck to your hand so if it gets negated and destroyed you do get some sort of recovery which is nice but it won't really come up all that often it's a lot better summoning it with wing since so twin raptor now because now twin raptor has an even better target where before you were just summon cypher wing and then hope that you have another cypher wing in your hand to special summon and then tribute that wing to make them both level eight because twin raptor when you use its effect it locks you into cypher monsters and since there are no rank four cypher monsters at least yet you would just end your turn there and then most likely your opponent would just run you over now with biplane you can just summon this with raptor and then go into whatever rank eight you need well, no, not really any rank 8, you'd have to go into a Cypher monster, so it's better going second. Which this deck is, it's more designed for going second than anything else. But it can go first with certain cards that I've mixed in with it. For your other Cypher monsters, I have Triple Cypher Wing and Triple Cypher Twin Raptor. Wing is more of an extender than anything else, I wouldn't really call it a starter card. The only real starter card that Cyphers have is Raptor. I mean, Wing, it's useful in a lot of situations, just being a free monster that you can summon if you control a Cypher, and then being able to double the levels of all Cypher monsters you control by attributing it. But if, it's, if you just have one on its own, it's not really that useful. If you open up with one, and then twin Raptor, then that's even better, because you can use Raptor discard a card to summon a another Cypher Wing from your deck, tribute one of the wings to make them level 8, and then go into your Cypher deck. That's really all it's useful for, or you can use it to go into your rank 4, depending on what the situation calls for. But overall, Wing is just a bit of a, um, it's more of an extender than anything else. And then Cypher Twin Raptor. That's probably the only starter card that Cyphers have, unfortunately, but it's relatively good at being a starter. It can special summon itself from your hand if you control no monsters, 
and your opponent controls an extra deck monster. So it's sort of like a cypher dragon. And then you can discard a card to special summon any cypher from your deck. So most commonly you'll be going for biplane, since biplane can make them both level 8 and then you can go into your cypher dragon. Or if you have wing in your hand, you can search another wing and then use the other wing to tribute itself to make them level 8. It's a lot better if you discard Cypher Etrenga because then you get its search effect off. So you can search out your Cypher Ascension or Cypher Interference. But overall, Twin Raptor is a fairly solid starter for Cyphers. Even though its special summoning effect to special summon a Cypher from the deck does lock you into Cypher Monsters, it's still a fairly solid card for Cyphers overall. So probably just about the best starter for this deck and one of the only starters unfortunately. That's the problem with Cyphers. They have so many cards that do too many different things. Wing does one thing, Raptor does another, even though they sort of do mix to an extent. And then you have trap cards that do some other stuff. You have biplane, which does help, but it's sort of its own card. You've got Etranga and Mirror Knight, which do their own things as well. The deck has too many cards that do too many things but they do too little of said thing. That's the problem with Cyphers. But anyway, these are probably just about some of the better Cyphers that we have at the moment, as well as Biplane, if I'm honest. Biplane really helped the deck out a lot, so it just makes it playable. Then for additional Cyphers, I have Triple Itranga, and two Mirror Knight. Etranga is probably one of the better searches. It's better if you open up with it and a Raptor because you can summon the Raptor, discard the Etranga to special summon Biplane or Wing, and then you can use Etranga's effect to get either Interference or your Ascension. And then you can use Ascension to rank up your Neo, so your Cypher Dragon into Neo Cypher Dragon and then use interference to double its attack because if you use its effect to steal a monster you can double Cypher Dragon's attack making it 9000 with Cypher Interference. So it's a relatively solid searcher for Cyphers and it also has another utility effect where if it's in your graveyard or hand you can target a Galaxy Eyes Xyz monster and equip it from your hand or graveyard to it as Xyz material. But you can only use one of those effects and only one per turn. So if I, activate, if I use the search effect, I can't equip it from my graveyard to a Galaxy Eyes. If I equip it to a Galaxy Eyes, I can't get a search off of it in the same turn. So a relatively solid searcher for Cyphers just helps you OTK with interference by getting you access to interference or Ascension, depending on which one you don't open up with. And then two Mirror Knight, bit of a weird card. It's more of a, um, more of a slow monster of born. Not exactly slow, but it's a bit weird. The effect is, if a Cypher monster, you can totally destroy by battle and send to the graveyard, you can, discard it, send one card from your hand or filter to the graveyard to target the destroyed monster as special summon it. And during the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can add a cypher card from your deck to your hand. The add effect is really good, just being able to search any cypher card. The only problem is it activates during the end phase and that can be really annoying because if you're going first and this is in your graveyard and just bear in mind that this deck struggles going 
first, by the way. It's not impossible, but it does struggle quite a bit. Regardless if you get the search off of Mirror Knight, chances are if you can't get up a really good defense, the opponent is gonna run you down. That is a big risk with this deck, unfortunately. And I don't like, I, I, I'm, really, I'm really trying to give this deck the benefit of the doubt here. I really, I enjoy the archetype a lot. I love anything Galaxy Eyes related. It's just the problem is, as I said, the, the deck does too much of too little. Too little of too much is what I should say, really. So it's just really annoying when you have good cards like Etranger and uh, and Raptor, as well as Biplane. But then you have cards like this that, well, it, it's not a bad card. It's not a bad card. It's just a slow card, is what I'm trying to say, which is why. Even though it can search anything, it's at 2 because it has to be in the graveyard and only goes off during the end phase. That's really annoying. But in this deck, because there are so few Cypher monsters, and because this card can come up some, sometimes, you just normal it and then you special the bike plane with it, even that can be useful. But in a lot of situations, this deck is really slow. And that's something you do have to consider. And that's it for the Cypher Monsters. And then two Galaxy Soldier. This card is searchable with the tech that I threw in. Uh, and overall it's just a really good card going first because... As I said, the deck struggles going first. But with Galaxy Soldier it just means you can end on Infinity and not be left wide open for the opponent to just run you down so it's a good card in any light deck as far as I'm concerned if I'm honest and then for the core that works surprisingly well in this deck is triple cyber dragon core and one cyber dragon hurts this might seem a bit weird especially in ciphers of all things but this core has some surprising synergy with the deck the, way, the main way I use it is I summon Cyber Dragon Core, use its effect to search out Cyber Repair Plant, then link it into Sandman Great Armorage, and then use Armorage to go into Secure Gardener. So once per turn, I don't take any damage, and just help set up an even bigger defense. And then since Core is in the graveyard, I can then activate the Repair Plant, which will then let me add either Galaxy Soldier or any of my Cypher Monsters. Although, in this instance, I can only search Biplane, Wing, and Raptor, since those are the only light machine monsters that Cyphers have. So that's where the sort of synergy comes with this engine, because Core can search out a card that can search out half the deck. At least, half the monsters in the deck, at least. So, it just gives the deck the consistency that it needed, and then with Hertz, it's a, another extender where you can search this out with Core by banishing it from the graveyard if you can draw no monsters. And then once this is sent to the graveyard, you get to add another Core from your deck to your hand. Or if you discard it with um, Galaxy Soldier, then you can then search out the Core, summon the Core, and then get your draw for that. But it just helps the deck out a ton going first and going second, specifically going first because it helps you set up your Infinity and Secure Gardener and it just helps you get to your Cypher Monsters so much more quicker. So the Cyber Dragon Core in Cyphers. If you're gonna if you're considering building Cyphers, definitely try this out. It helps the deck so so much. Next card is one Jizukiru. This card is searchable with the Cyber Dragon engine, so it would make sense to play at least one of these and also helps this deck going second because this is a going second build. Then for hand traps, I am playing Triple Nibiru and Triple Ash Blossom. Nibiru helps a lot because it just helps clear the opponent's field out and also with Cypher Dragon you can then steal this and then attack directly depending on what your attack is. If it's just, if it's just Cypher Dragon by itself 
then it will only be 3,000 since Scythe, the only monster that can attack directly when you use Cypher Dragon's effect is Cypher Dragon. But if you have Interference, you can inflict 6,000. If you have Neo Cypher Dragon, you can go 9,000. Then Triple Ash, this was just preference. Honestly, this can be whatever hand trap you want, depending on what you think you're going to go up against if you play this deck. And that's it for the monsters. Now go on to the spells now. For the spells, I have Triple Cypher Interference and 2 Cypher Ascension. Cypher Interference is another new card which allows OT Kang a lot easier. If you control two Cypher monsters with the same name when your Cypher monster battles, so with Galaxy Ice Cypher Dragon, if you stole a monster, it will be treated as Galaxy Ice Cypher Dragon. So this will be active, so you, then you can attack with Cypher Dragon with 6,000 attack. And with Neo Galaxy Ice Cypher Dragon, you can attack for 9,000. And then Cypher Ascension is just your way of ranking up your Cypher Dragon into Neo Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon. And also it gives the effect where Neo Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon gains 500 attack for each level 4 or higher monster you control. Which can add up to more in with Cypher Interference. And then for the Cyber Dragon spells I am playing Triple Cyber Emergency and 2 Cyber Repair Plant. Cyber Emergency, just so we get access to Cyber Dragon Core and also Cyber Dragon Hurts, so we can use the search effect of Cyber Repair Plant. I'm only playing two Cyber Repair Plant because, in order for this to be active, Cyber Dragon Core needs to be in the graveyard. And if it's not in the graveyard and you open up with this, then that's a pretty big brick because if you can't get to Cyber Dragon Core as quickly as you can, then this is just going to be more of a hindrance to you than an advantage. And also a really good effect with Cyber Emergency is if it's negated, you can add it back to your hand so you can use it next turn. But just uh, Cyber Repair Plant being able to search your other ciphers just helps the deck out a ton. While this engine, it does make the overall deck a lot more consistent. One problem you have to bear in mind is that if you don't have Cyber Dragon Core in the graveyard, this won't be active. But you're playing free core and free emergency, so chances are you're going to open up with one of those. So then, Cyber Dragon Core can search you this out, then you link into Almirage and then Secure Gardener, then you can activate this to get you your Cypher Monsters. And then for the only trap I'm playing is Triple Infinite Impermanence. Just a good card going first and going second overall, really. And that's it for the main deck. I'm going to go on to the extra deck now. For the extra deck, I have one Neo Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon. Very similar to Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon, except its effect is if you if it has a Cypher Monster as material, you can detach up to three Exceeds materials and then take control of that many monsters. And it doesn't target either, which is a lot better. And it's also your main end game with this deck. So you summon this, and then if you have interference, you still free monsters, and then if you can attack directly with this, that's pretty much game because it has it will have nine thousand attack points at that point. And then two normal cipher dragon, pretty simple. You just attach one, steal the monster, and its name becomes Gagsize Cipher Dragon. Two cipher blade dragon, just. Mainly just for getting over problematic cards the opponent would have. And then one Cypher X Dragon. This is fairly easy to go into because when you steal a monster from Cypher Dragon, its name becomes Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon. And then you can summon this using that monster that you stole since this requires a monster whose name is Cypher Dragon rather than Galaxy Eyes Xyz Monster. So if fixes another problem that Galax that Cyphers had, which was when you steal a monster, you can't really do much with them. So it's a nice card to have access to. Then one Photon Lord, just a good going first card if you can go into it. One Full Armor Photon Dragon, again this is good for getting over problematic cards 
for example, if you steal a monster with Cypher Dragon, you can then go into X Dragon, then use X Dragon to go into Full Armor Photon, destroy a card, then Full Armor Photon into Cypher Blade, destroy another card. Then you've got the Infinity Package of Nova and Infinity. Again, just a really good going first card, and it's easy to get access to because of the Cyber Dragon Package. And also the Galaxy Soldier as well. Now one Photon Blast Dragon, fairly easy to summon as well and it just offers some much needed protection for your monsters so if you can end on this and Infinity you're in a good position or just it with one of your other monsters. One Cyber Dragon Zyga, because we're playing the Cyber Dragon package this sort of does fit in pretty well and is also good for buffing up your Infinity if uh, you can't get access to that many ciphers so this acts as another alternative for OTK but also you can use it on your other ciphers as well like cypher wing cypher twin raptor as well if you have interference since the attack gain is a quick effect you can target a machine monster on the field with 2100 attack points or more and it gains 2100 points more so with Cypher Interference, if you have two Wing or two Raptor, since Raptor can search itself, you can then double them with Interference and then chain this to make them to then give them even more attack. Then one Almirage and one Secure Gardener. Almirage, because of Core, you normal Core, then you can go to Almirage, so then your Cypher Pet Plant is then active, and then you can go Almirage into Secure Gardener, so once per turn, you don't take any damage. And then a one Chimera Tech Mega Fig Dragon. We're playing a Slab Dragon course, so again, this sort of fits in and just helps this deck going second even more. And that is it for the deck profile. I really hope you enjoyed. Sorry if this video took a while to make, but as I said, I took quite a while trying to make this deck as good as I could, when in reality it was just staring me right in the face. And let me know what you thought in the comments. Let me know where you think I could improve upon this deck. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. If there's a deck you would like to see, let me know and I'll see if I can make it. And as always, I'll talk to you all in the next video. Take care.